it's haul time so i recently ish ordered book outlet i got nine books or something like that and i paid like 24 dollars because i also had like a points gift card so i have these nine books and then i have one book to show you at the end i got from walmart I'm really excited for so yeah i haven't done a book haul in a while just because I don't usually buy enough books each month to um, to do a full book haul. Um, but whenever I like buy a lot, I will definitely do one. So I don't remember exactly what I got, but we'll see. This I just got here. It's so exciting. Okay. The first book I see. These are so cool. It is the Puffin and Bloom edition of A Little Princess by Frances Hodgson Burnett. I don't know much about this book. I just really want to collect all the Puffin and Bloom collections because um, I have Anne of Green Gables and Little Women in this same uh edition and they're literally so beautiful and they look so pretty next to each other like oh my god they're gorgeous and um i just think they're so cute so i don't know like when i'll get to this but part of me just got it kind of, kind of so i had it in my collection but i'll i'll end up reading it eventually also got a quiet kind of thunder by sarah bernard which is about, I think it's a romance between a girl who is a selective mute and a deaf boy, I believe. Which is like, sounds really cute, not usually into romance, but like, I've heard good things about this and this author. And I think that the representation is something that you don't see a lot, um, mute and deaf representation. So, really exciting! So, I also got Gloria O'Brien's History of the Future by A.S. King. I don't know much about this book either. I just know that, like, A.S. King is, like, all the rage. Especially Books and Lala. She loves A.S. King, and I just love Books and Lala. So, I think it seems like she, this girl gains the power to uh, see people's past and future, which sounds super interesting. Which sounds crazy interesting to me. Like, I don't know. That just sounds really good. Next, we have... Ooh, this is a little boy. Okay, we have Fresh Ink. Who is it? Edited by... Edited by Lamar Giles. Which, it's an anthology. Um, I think just about, like, diversity, honestly. Um... I think just about diversity in general, which is really fun and really excited. Um, this is a lot smaller than I was anticipating since there's so many authors. Um, I've been really into anthologies lately and I just think this cover is beautiful and I just have like so much fun with <laughs> um, anthologies every time I read them. Most of the time I read them. <laughs> so yeah, and next I have another anthology that's thicker and that is our stories our voices edited by amy reed um i think this book is about growing up female in america so intersectionality uh, uh intersectional feminist stories which is really exciting and i also love this cover like look at these two and oh so cute what is the dust or the naked oh it's just oh oh i like that though that's really cute okay okay let's look at fresh ink what does the naked fresh ink look like also pink very nice very very nice okay Next, I got a big one. 
so I have, you guys are going to be great. You guys are going to be like, oh, mm, mm. yeah. So I got Obsidio by Jay Crisap for really cheap because these books are like $20. So I read Illuminate. I gave it three and a half, but um, it was a couple years ago. And then after a while, I was like, you know what? I think I might enjoy that series more now. Um, so I was really want to read the next books in the series. I have not read Gemini yet. This is the third book in the Illuminae files, but I thought since it was available, I would get it and then um, have it for when I read Gemini and then I would be able to read Obsidio. Um, so yeah, I really think these covers are so cool. Like there's the outside and it kind of like is part of what this part looks like. And also, this is like so shiny and pretty. Okay, whoa. So, there were a few times where I was like, oh my gosh, I should unhaul Illuminate because like I didn't like it that much. And now I'm so glad I didn't because first of all, these books are gorgeous. Like literally absolutely gorgeous and I love them. I just love the way they look. I love the like physical book itself. And second, I just really want to give it a second try because um, I think I could maybe enjoy it more. Next one I got is Invisible Ghosts by Robin Schneider, which I got some books by Robin Schneider in a book outlet haul, I think, last year. And I absolutely loved them, uh, like, so much. And this is her middle grade, I think, and it's pretty new. Um... And I really want to read it because it just seems so cute. I think it's like um, a girl who has a ghost for a best friend. And I think she's kind of... I don't know if she has like a trauma or like something. Um, something with the ghost is like kind of weird or something. I don't know. But look at how pretty this cover is. It's so gorgeous. I literally love it the cover so much. My last book that I got is another Books and La La favorite. That is Midnight at the Electric by Jody Lynn Anderson, which I don't know what it's about very much. It's sci-fi. It goes between three timelines, it looks like. I don't really want to know what it's about a whole lot. Um... But, yeah. Was Jody Lynn Anderson the one that wrote The Dreamers, or am I, like, insane? Because I read The Dreamers recently. No, 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 she didn't write The Dreamers. Okay, that's a different person. Um, also, this book has a gorgeous cover as well. I'm, like, so excited. Because also, oh my god, the naked cover of this is the prettiest color. Wow. Wow. Let's see what this one looks like. It looks purple. Ooh, also very pretty. Oh my gosh. Cute. I'm really excited. This is very exciting. Those are my book outlet books. And then I have one more book that I got from Walmart the other day. And that is a Peppa Pig, the school play. Hmm. I don't know who it's by. Um, Meredith Rusu adapted it. Um, so I started this the other day and it's actually like really interesting and really good. Um, so it's exciting. I think that the illustrations are so beautiful and colorful and very cute. So I'm excited to, um, dive into this story more. It's very short. It also comes with stickers, so I might have to put some on my bullet journal or something. Um, yeah. Um, let me know if you guys have read any of these books, because I obviously haven't. But I'm very excited to. <laughs> and these are very heavy. 
Ah. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe, comment, and like because it means so much to me. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!